Ciao, so guys. I um, thought I'd try something new by doing a couple of tutorials. I was going to do this in the past, but I thought that no one would actually want to watch it. But seeing as my friend Joe has got um, Sony Vegas now, I thought I'd do a couple of tutorials for him and also anyone else who wants to listen. So, let's start. First of all, you obviously have to open up Sony Vegas. Uh, right click on insert video track and just shove in any random clip from the explorer or from a other file or whatever. Um, this tutorial is going to be about keyframes and masking. Just basic for now. If it gets popular, I might do an advanced tutorial a bit later on. Um, First of all, let's show the masking. So, so, click on the little event pan crop button. Um, I don't know, let's say... Let's find like a good shot. Ah, oh, not good shot, let's just find a shot. Let's just say here, for instance, there's a guy in front of me. Click. Oh no, a bit too far. Seeing as I'm recording full screen, I'm lagging quite badly. Okay, go down here, click on create keyframe. Zoom in if you want. Go to the next frame. Right click the one you just made on hold. Then we create a new one. But that's linear. And then let's go to the part where I finish killing him. Oh, yeah, that'll do. Create a new keyframe. Go back to this one here. And let's just say I want to try a little bit of rotation. So rotate it all the way around. Line it back up again. And let's see what that's like. Well, it worked. Well, you probably wouldn't be able to see it due to it being really, really laggy. Um. So yeah, that's basically just adding in some keyframes. That just obviously made it to do a little 360 at the point where I actually get the kill. Um, masking is also just as easy. Let's just say. I don't know. I want to put in a little picture just like at a certain point, or even for the whole video maybe. Insert video track again. Get a random picture. Here I've used my awesome little space dinosaur. There we go. But you want to put the picture on, but it's got the big white outline around it, and obviously you don't want that. So, we've got the event pan crop once again. Click on down here, click on mask, tick that little box, and it puts you into the little masking section. If you've not already, click over here on the an anchor creation tool, and then click on the like around the actual object itself. In this case, Dino. Dino the dinosaur. <laughs> um, yeah, masking 
I'm just doing a quick job here, but you can make it look really nice. Obviously, it takes some more time with it. Yeah, masking is really easy, and if you spend some time doing it, it's really effective. So yeah, once you've joined up all the points, the part where you've cut out turns dark grey, then that one should be fine. And as you can see in the corner up here, the white outline's gone around him, but he's taken up the whole screen, and you don't want him to take up the whole screen. You want him just to be in the corner or something. So you go back up to position, just above mask, zoom out, and then just whichever way you want him, just increase the box size. Um, I want him a bit smaller than that, so zoom out some more. I'll have him a bit bigger than that, actually. He's worth being bigger. <laughs> There we go. I want him exactly in the corner, so I'll move this side over. There you go. And his little Dino sat in the corner. Maybe you want him in the top corner, so you grab the box, just move it down. And I seem to be locked. There we go. So yeah, move this box. Make sure that that there is move. Click on move freely, which mine wasn't for some reason. And make this a bit smaller, a minute, so you can see. Wherever you move this box, Dino will move as well. If you want to take over the radar? You can put him in the top corner. <laughs> or I don't know, I seem to like him in his bottom corner so there we go really make him as long as you want increase the clip size like by holding control on the edge you see the little sign moving there and click and drag whatever size you want, bigger, smaller, whatever just remember that if you're doing this with sound, obviously the longer you make the clip, the slower it's going to be, so I don't think you're going to want to make it too slow, otherwise it's going to be really long and droney. <laughs> um, but that's it for now. If you have any questions, just send me a message or put it in the comments down below. And remember to rate, comment and subscribe.